So if you've been watching my super shelter build video, there's it's a three-parter and I'll put the links above. You'll know that I used a birch, a set of birch saplings for my cross stringers when I was constructing the roof. And since I don't like to let anything go to waste, I thought I would take this opportunity uh, to use some of the material that was left over. In particular, all these beautiful twigs. Now what can you do with birch twigs, you say? Well, we can make some birch twig tea. And all we need is this and these, a couple of mason jars. So stick around and let's see how we do this. Alright, so you can use yellow birch, black birch. The key to it is when you take a piece of birch and you take a branch and you skin some of the bark off of it and then you take a whiff of that and smell it. It should smell like wintergreen or birch beer. And these clearly do. The other key here is that you should use the, only the smallest parts of the, of the branches, the very ends, okay? So really small. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them up and pack as many as we can into a mason jar. And it's gotta be a good quality, clean mason jar, okay? So let me get to that and I'll be right back with you. We're just going to cover them with boiling water and I'm just going to add it slow just to bring up the, the, the uh, temperature in the jar slowly and I'm going to fill it right to the top or close to the top. There you go, it's about, about a half to, to an inch, half to three quarters of an inch below. We'll let that sit there for a minute. Now oh, you can already smell it. And as you can see, I have a top. So some of these are sticking out and I'm just gonna work them in the best I can. If I have to trim them and they fall in, who cares? They're all part of the, they're all part of the tea. And then you're gonna wait for this to uh, steep for about 24 hours. And I'm just gonna leave it out I'm not going to put it in the refrigerator. I'm just going to let it sit uh, in the corner. On goes the lid. Okay, a couple of tips here. Make sure that when you're taking branches, uh, that the branches are live branches and they're not dried or dead. Okay, and again, try to get the smallest ones you can. Uh, you can fold them, scrunch them up. You don't always have to cut them. Whatever you need to do, jam them in there. All right, so uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. And uh, we'll try this again. Now, the reason I didn't brew this on the top of the stove is I've been told that it takes the bitterness out if you do it this way. So I haven't tried this, uh, in this particular method. This is the first time I've done this, this method of steeping it in a jar overnight. So we'll see you tomorrow and uh, see how it comes out. All right, so we, uh, we let this jar steep uh, for about 24 hours. And again, just if you go back and review it, it's just a regular quart wide mouth quart jar. You could use any jar, I suppose, that you wanted as long as it was a canning type jar. And I packed the uh, twigs in there pretty tight and they're all small twigs as you can see. And then I poured boiling hot water over them. Now I have a little bit of a confession to make. The confession is I also took a two quart stock pot or saucepan and I filled it about half full of twigs and covered them uh, with cold water 
and then I placed it on the wood stove and it didn't come to a simmer or a boil, but it barely got up to a simmer. It was super hot, but not to a simmer. And I let it sit there like that on the wood stove for about an hour and then I took it off. Now that was an hour and this is the color of the liquid. I'm gonna see if how this I can do this in here. So you can, I'm gonna pour it right in the bowl actually so you can kind of see the color of it. It's sort of an orange color. So I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring it up a little closer to you. And there's some particles in there that which is just bark or whatever, but I'm going to strain it out. So now the jar, we'll just open the jar and I'm going to try to use the strainer without spilling it. And we're just going to strain it out in here like that. So you can see there is a little bit of a color difference. It's a little lighter in color. And I'm going to actually drink some of it cold, so stand by. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see it from there, but uh, I have this glass, which was brewed in the mason jar with just pouring hot water, boiling water, over the twigs and then sealing up the jar and then letting it sit. Uh, Basically let it sit on the counter for 24 hours. It smells good. <laughs> it tastes really, you, you don't get that much of a, uh, I mean it has a clean taste, a kind of a crisp taste, but it doesn't have a lot of flavor. You can just kind of pick up a little bit of that winter green, sort of like birch beer uh, essence to it, but not real strong. If it was like, it'd be like drinking watered down iced tea. And then this one, which was uh, me taking this about the same amount of twigs and putting uh, about the same amount of water, maybe a little bit more in a saucepan and then putting it on the wood stove. And again, I didn't even simmer it. It was just, you could see steam coming off of it, but it wasn't bubbling or anything like that. So it was probably, without knowing exactly what the temperature was, it was probably right, you know, below a simmer. So definitely has a stronger winter green birch kind of smell to it. Oh. Yeah, that's much better. That almost tastes like if you brewed iced tea and then put some winter green in it, that's what it tastes like. I could, I could drink that again. So I don't know. I've seen, I've seen other people do the, uh, the one quart jar uh, routine. I didn't have much success with it. Um, perhaps somebody else might comment below maybe that I did something wrong or whatever, but if I had to do it all over again, this is the route I would go. And to be honest with you, I mean, here's 24 hours and here's about an hour and a half right here. So you get a quicker bever a beverage quicker out of the, out of the saucepan. Well, that should do it for today. I hope you uh, enjoyed uh, me dedicating my body to science here a little bit. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and as usual, subscribe to see more Black Squirrel Bushcraft videos in the future. And don't forget to hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button because you won't see the videos when they pop up unless you look at your playlist every day. So until next time, so long and take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.